As military movements on the Ukrainian border threaten to spill over into a hot war, a battle has already begun on the airwaves of an old Russian Cold War spy station. It involves the strange world of number stations, mysterious radio broadcasts that go back decades, and what looks like a recent attempt by someone to cause mischief for the Russians. Our security correspondent Gordon Carrera has been investigating. Welcome to the mysterious world of number stations, radio for spies. They can broadcast anything from random numbers to unnerving voices, odd music, even strange beeps and buzzes. Armed with a shortwave radio, anyone can listen in, but you can only understand what it means if you have the right codebooks or technology to decode the message hidden inside. For shortwave listeners, it's yeah, kind of romantic. Franz Verdein is one of the people fascinated by this world. He's been tuning into these stations for 40 years since he was a schoolboy in the Netherlands. What is the fascination, do you think, for you in, in these number stations? Well, <laughs> that you never know who is uh, broadcasting it and who is uh, sending it and for what. I guess that they are spy stations and, well, almost certainly they are, but uh, you never know for sure. But recently, one station he's been tuning into for decades suddenly changed. This is what UVB 76 normally sounds like. It has broadcast from Russia since at least the 1980s. 25 tones a minute, 24 hours a day. Its exact role is mysterious, perhaps linked to the military rather than spies. But whatever it was, it was recently taken over. Yes, that's Rick Astley's never gonna give you up. The Russians are being rickrolled. That's the common online prank where the song is played as a joke. Not so common on military radio though. The frequency is taken over by pirate stations. The transmitter itself is not broken in. They're just pirate stations transmitting on the same frequency. They're sending music. Well, there's never shown before. Is it possible to have any idea who's behind this? Well, I guess it has to do with the situation at the Ukrainian border, but also it could be just for fun. This is where the engineers get get busy. Yeah. This is uh, autonomy, so they have these... To find out more, I headed over to City University in London. Inside the Finkelstein Laboratory, Professor David Stupples, a signals intelligence veteran, had a look at the frequency with me on a special screen. It, it's uh, an interference signal with somebody being um, humorous. So what's that tune we can hear in the background? The tune is the Lincolnshire Poacher from the, the Western number station. So someone's overlaying on a Russian frequency an old Western intelligence number station? Well, certainly the tune of it, yes. So it's someone, you think it's someone again kind of pranking or causing trouble or trying to be a bit mischievous? A mischief or pranking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen this kind of thing before? No, I haven't. When you monitor the radio signal through a computer, you also get something that looks like an electronic waterfall displaying the spectral frequency. Here another joke was revealed. A masked face, often used by hackers, appears on the screen as if by magic. It's soon joined by messages and logos in Cyrillic text. If the Russians wanted this station back to do something with it, as it was probably uh, designed to do, then this would be a, a very serious nuisance signal. It seems amazing you're still using this kind of radio, though. It feels like a very old-fashioned technology to use precisely in event of some kind of conflict that, that, that might knock out other communications. You still need it. Otherwise, if all your communications is gone, you have to fall back to the simple. We don't know who is hacking the Russians, or if this musical interference would really cause any trouble if the stations were called into action in the event of conflict. But for the number station aficionados like France, the prank is more than welcome. I like it a lot. I uh, look at it uh, every night for a moment uh, if there's uh, something. 
And it what, puts a smile on your face to see someone yeah, playing with the Russians. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> Gordon Carrera reporting. 